So the fourth ceremony just ended a couple of hours ago and I am shocked. I have experienced about 50 to 100 deaths of myself in, in one night. I was um, yeah, fighting with demons, my demons, and the demons of someone else that was in the place as well. And I was just on and off and on and off and alive and dead and alive and dead. And you know, there was a moment where I only saw, like it was dark and I, could, um, I couldn't see anything. It was like the end, like, there was nobody anymore, no more life in me. Uh, only uh, I could hear my heartbeat like be, and that was it. Very traumatic, very hot. But at the end, um... I never thought I'd gonna find myself back here again. Seriously, just three weeks ago. Another ayahuasca retreat was the last thing on my mind. But then something extraordinary happened. Now picture this, I'm strolling through the forest surrounded by nature's beauty when suddenly I feel a strong pull as if the universe itself is whispering in my ear saying, Greg, it's time for another ayahuasca retreat. And guess what? I couldn't resist the call. Now here I am sitting at this breathtaking ayahuasca retreat center in Malaga called APL Journeys. To be honest, I'm really excited about the experience that awaits me, but at the same time, I'm very, very nervous because I'm not sure if I'm ready for it. Am I? Well, the next seven days will definitely be extraordinary. But let's see if I can handle it. As the day drew nearer, a mix of nerves and anticipation consumed me. I knew deep down that this journey would redefine my life in unimaginable ways. The unknown beckoned and I was about to dive headfirst into the depths of my own consciousness. The moment has arrived. I'm in the sacred ceremony space where soon enough I will have to surrender to the ancient medicine and allow its wisdom to guide me through the labyrinth of my soul. Luckily, I won't be alone in this endeavor. I'll be under the guidance of one of the most remarkable shamans in the world who will lead the ceremonies. Gosh, I'm so nervous. So I just finished my first ceremony uh, at the APL in, in Spain and um, it was not what I expected. I didn't perch in, I, I, I yawned a lot but not perch in a typical way and I didn't go as deep as I thought I'm gonna go because I was really calm for the experience but really calm. And I drank two cups. Not many people did, but, well, actually, some people did. Yeah, maybe, maybe half of them. I don't remember, actually. I was one of the first guys there because I was sitting very close to the shaman. So, I don't know. And it was like, for most of the night, nothing really happened. I was really trying to let it go. I mean, I was really trying to, to stay calm and I was really calm. But then all of a sudden, like, my, my face started moving around in really weird ways. Mm. Um, I was like twisting a bit. I had really, I felt like really painful here, a pain in, in, in my ear, um, which is really weird. Don't know why. 
And then I saw colors, different colors, some shapes, I think. And yeah, that was it. And then I got out and I saw the sky. The sky was beautiful, still is, I think. The sky was beautiful. Yeah, I didn't. I thought I'm gonna go deeper, but now I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I went quite deep, just it was in a more subtle way, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if this makes sense. Yeah. But that's how I feel at the moment, too. So, yeah, it was on my first night. Um, try to go to bed now and then we'll have a second night soon, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll try to make some more videos if I feel like it. If I feel like it, yeah. The first night is usually the most challenging one because you don't know what to expect. So either you can't let it go because you're afraid of what would happen or you let it go and you couldn't believe what happened. Either way, it's tough. So, my second ceremony... <laughs> my second ceremony was brutal. It was extreme. It was just crazy. Uh, now, I wasn't able to film directly after it. I just had no... I couldn't move, I couldn't walk. Um, so, I'm filming this right now. Uh, but that was just extreme. So the first part of the night was Wow, I mean that So many bad memories came up It was so intense. I mean I remember moments There were so many moments uh, when I thought like Yeah, that's it. I mean, I cannot do this shit anymore. Like please, you know, save me like, you know, stop this you know, like, Please, please, please because it was just insane. I was just going insane. Like, it was wild. But then the second part was like the most amazing, um, the most amazing experience in my life. I was able to do stuff which, which are really hard to ex explain. I would need more time to think about it. But I just got all the answers that I wanted to get. Really deep, profound questions I had before. And I got all the answers to those questions and it was just pure bliss and love and happiness and really really nice but overall you know it, it really destroyed me uh, it was it went on for the whole night basically I slept maybe like an hour or so and I couldn't walk for most of the night I couldn't understand the concept of my legs I mean as I said it was brutal I was like living in a different world, different reality. And that was it, man. That was it. Yeah. Now I have the third ceremony. And then the fourth. And then the fifth one. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Experts say that ayahuasca is like a mother that is going to slap you until you get what you need to heal. And that's exactly how it feels like after you take it. She's playing with you like professionals plays with an amateur and she manipulates you in a way that you have no chance against her. She does all of that just to teach you a lesson. And the lesson is the most profound lesson everyone should learn. You're not perfect and you will never be, but you're enough and until you really believe that, you will never feel that way. Hello, hello. So my third ceremony just ended and it lasted for like 12 hours. So it started about 9 in the evening and I just woke up at around 9 in the morning or about 8, 8.30 I think. Um, <laughs> what should I say? Yeah, for the first half a night I didn't expect anything to happen. I was like, shit. You know, I'm again overthinking, or maybe I didn't drink enough enough ayahuasca, maybe I should... Uh, I don't know, maybe I want too much, you know, I'm like, my mind is just too active. But when the ceremony closed, it about after four hours, 
officially. I mean, it just kicked in. <laughs> like, I was very, very late, but it just kicked in. And I was able to ask questions, I got the answers, I was... Uh, I was... Yeah, there were so many things that happened in one night. It's just crazy, there's just so much... Uh, there was so much love as well. So positive experience. Uh, but it's while I feel really tired right now, to be honest. I'm like, yeah, really tired. And it takes a long nap today. Because we have the fourth ceremony in a couple of hours. Which is, I don't know how I'm gonna drink again. <laughs> I was, it really makes me sick now, just thinking about it. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> But you gotta do what you gotta do, right? That's what they say, so, yeah. Two more nights, and then let's see. <laughs> wow, so powerful. This is so powerful, man. So the fourth ceremony just ended a couple of hours ago, and I am shocked. I have experienced about 50 to 100 deaths of myself and in one night. I was um, yeah, fighting with demons, my demons, and the demons of someone else that was in the place as well. And I was just on and off and on and off and alive and dead and alive and dead. And you know, there was a moment where I only saw, like it was dark and I could, um, I couldn't see anything. It was like the end. Like, there was nobody anymore. No more life in me. Uh, only uh, I could hear my heart beep like be, and that was it. Very traumatic. Very hot. But at the end, um, I know why this happened, and it was definitely worth going through that process. And yeah. It's funny, it, like even if you have the hardest trip of your life, you wake up in the morning and you get this profound knowledge, this profound experience that just changes everything. And in this case, it changed it as well. I don't know. You need to, you need the mental and yeah, mental energy and stamina to endure. Mm, but. Um, but if you do, you're gonna be very, very grateful because in just four days, you, your, child, your life will change forever. That's what I can promise you. Now I think it's time for me to take a short nap because I haven't slept at all. Maybe two hours in total in the past two days. And yeah, I'm very tired. Very tired. After the roughest and most challenging four nights in a row, the ceremonies finally ended and I felt this huge relief in my heart. But at the same time, I was sad about it. At that moment, I understood that I would never be the same again and that Greg, who came to this retreat, is not the one that would leave the retreat. I also knew it was time for a new chapter in my life and I knew very well that I was ready for it. My second encounter with ayahuasca became one of the most dramatic events of my life. It transformed me in ways I could never have imagined. The visions unfolded like vivid paintings, revealing the depths of my soul and unearthing hidden truths. In that sacred space, I confronted my deepest fears and found the strength to heal wounds that had haunted me for years. As I emerged from the ceremony, a sense of awe washed over me. The weight of my past mistakes lifted, replaced by a newfound sense of purpose and self-acceptance. It was as if a veil had been lifted, revealing the immense potential within me. Inspired by my own transformation, I felt a calling to share my story with others. I wanted to inspire and encourage you to embark on your own journeys of self-discovery and healing. As I move forward, I carry the profound lessons of my journey within me. My ayahuasca experience will forever be a pivotal moment, reminding me that even in the face of darkness, there is always hope and the potential for profound transformation. 
This marks the end of our extraordinary journey, a testament to the remarkable power of ayahuasca to ignite personal growth and profound change. May you find the courage to embrace your own transformative journey. And that's how my ayahuasca journey ended once and for all. Or did it?